pipe smokers around the world your friend flat cap piker here and today just wanted to share with you uh, blending my favorite blend um, as you guys know i received the blend a while back from a person named frank green he called it plinskin for uh, that character snake plinskin i forget the movie but it's something like escape from somewhere new york escape from somewhere i don't know but the point is that this blend is a, is a uh, Latakia and with a little bit of, of a raspberry flavor to it. And ever since I had it, I completely fell in love with it. And he um, actually shared with me the recipe and said, hey, just keep it a secret between us. Um, but definitely, of course, share the blend if you want with other people. So this is um, what's left of what he sent me. As you can see, he kind of pressed it said he pressed it into like a big brick. So the process that he told me um, and what I'm gonna share with you without sharing uh, all the components is that, you know, uh, you get the first component here, which this is the aromatic component. And uh, I got nine ounces of it. So I'm gonna finish pouring this thing here. And the formula is 90% to 10% of that plus Latakia. Now I really like Latakia and um, here is the Corner and Dio kind of your, your, your Latakia for blending. So I think I'm gonna up that percent and instead of using one ounce of Latakia to nine ounces of the aromatic, um, I'm gonna use all full two ounces of it. So we're gonna pop this thing here. It's not a popping the tin episode. And, um, and my suggestion is, you know, if you guys like that, uh, that idea of having a, a lot of Kia with some kind of nice uh, flavor for or, or smell that, that, uh, that you can, you know, perhaps sometimes smoke it inside, I would test it first. So what I did was, of course, I mean, I knew I liked the blend, but I had this just by itself and, and tried it and see if something that maybe you, even though it might be um, something that you like, like a raspberry or a, or a vanilla or whatever you choose, uh, smoke it by itself and you know, and see if that's the one that you want to mix with your, with your Latakia. The Latakia is gonna be pretty kind of um, easy in terms of what it's gonna be. So this component here is what's gonna really make or break your blend. So that's what I did. I smoke this first for a little while just to make sure. And once you have that uh, flavorful or topped or whatever blend that you like, then just, you know, adding the Latakia will tone it down and hopefully if you enjoy Latakia, it might become your favorite blend. So here we go. I'm gonna start adding this Latakia to it. Oh man, what a great smell. You know what, I'm actually getting cold feet. I think I'm just gonna go with the, with the one, with the one to nine blend because I can see how this smell is really overpowering. So let's go with that one ounce to nine ounce deal first and we're gonna mix it up in here. Just kind of see what we get. I was thinking, you know, once I have this tobacco, if it comes out like he said, I'm all set. Cause this is just my favorite. And the second part, of course, I'm gonna switch the camera. I'm gonna find a vacuum seal and we're gonna vacuum seal it. We recommend that you kind of press it into like a brick and then vacuum seal it for 30 days, at least 30 days. Then after that, you can you can keep it longer if you want to, but at least 30 days. All right. You can tell how that, I mean, that raspberry smell quickly um, gets taken over by the Latakia. So that's why I think I'm, I'm gonna 
fillet my last and not do the two ounces and just do the one just to keep the the raspberry smell in there and this blend i noticed is not a blend that um that gives you tongue bite i really kind of puffed it hard for a little bit and use that near some pipe just so that i wasn't tricked by some ghosting of something else that i smoked All right, this is kind of fun. This mixing of the stuff is kind of fun. If you've mixed something that you have enjoyed, you know, of course share with me. I'm not the only one that's done videos like this. I'm sure you can go on YouTube and find all kinds of people that have mixed all kinds of things that have worked out for them. But I thought I would share mine. Uh, this blend really, really took me by surprise and I really have enjoyed it, so. Once he said that he was gonna share the recipe with me, I was ecstatic. I said like, all right, come on. But I think you can get maybe the same results if you pick one of your favorite aromatic blends and just mix it with, with some straight out of here. So try it out, tell me what you think. You don't have to mix this much either, you know? As long as you do 90% to 10%, it might work out well for you let's see all right yes perfect i do like the smell of latakia so i really wouldn't mind and you know after i do this blend if i think that i could have used maybe more the next blend i'll i'll add more latakia but i think that one ounce to nine ounces. I'm gonna follow, hey, I'm gonna follow the person who did the recipe, right? That's why he did it. I don't know what I'm doing, trying to invent something on my own. If, if what he did work and I love that, I'm gonna keep it that way. All right, so this is nice and mixed. I'm gonna go and switch the camera and we will we'll vacuum pack this thing and and then in 30 days, of course, I'll, I'll do a follow-up and tell you guys if I was successful or not. <laughs> Hopefully I was. Alrighty, so here we are with the vacuum sealer. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna already seal one end of it. We're gonna stick all the stuff in here. Probably make a disastrous mess because that's usually what I do. and see how it works. I got this thing probably a year ago and let me tell you, I really have used it a lot to seal um, tobacco, to send to people and of course to seal all kinds of stuff in terms of food. But I um, forgot how much it cost, but it wasn't too expensive. Definitely can come in handy. to smell just like I want it. A little bit of barbecue, a little bit of raspberry. That's exactly what I want. All right. Another way to mix it, I guess. And of course, just have fun with it, you know. I don't take things too seriously. There we go. I'm gonna make sure I wash this bowl good for my wife before she finds out. I use her salad bowl, whatever that is. presses maybe we'll get a nice big brick here it'll be a nice one hopefully it'll turn out good and maybe I can share with some of you guys 
All right, so I'm gonna. This is the moment of truth. So I'm guessing we put this in here. I'm, I'm learning myself how to do this thing, so hopefully I'll do it right. And then you press, it says back and seal, all right? Oh, wait a second. First, I need to bring it down. Now you hit back and see. There we go. So, there you go guys, I'm gonna take this and we'll see in, man, this is hard stuff. We'll date this and in 30 days, we'll check it out again and uh, and try it and see if it works. So, uh, I hope you guys uh, try it. Pick a blend that you know you like how it tastes and it smells and then, you know, we can add a nine to one to Latakia and maybe it ends up being your favorite. On the comments below tell me what other things you have come up with and, and maybe you know, I'll give them a try it's always fun to blend your own you know and trying to kind of find the happy medium of what you want so in my case it's Latakia in your case it may be Perique uh, some other people's case might be Burley so uh, it's just fun to find out you know what you like maybe some Burley with a little bit of flavor of something else so Hey, have a great rest of the week, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.